Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I posted a quick video last week showing the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour skin tint and I did mention that I was gonna give it a full wear test. That's what I'm doing today. I absolutely love the finish. I love the look. It's what I have on today if you haven't already guessed, but I haven't had a chance to look at it at the end of the evening in a 10 times mirror to see where it wore off. Like I expect that it's gonna wear off around my nose because I blow it all the time. And I have to wear glasses to edit my videos. So typically it will wear off around there. Other than that, I wanna see how it wears in every other area. Maybe it will stay there, I don't know. I also have the new Makeup Forever HD Skin Concealer. I have put this to the test as well, but again, I haven't looked at it in a 10 times mirror at the end of the day. I can tell you my first impressions and my experience with it, I really like it. For those of you that are new here, my name is Julie. I'm a 51 year old professional makeup artist and licensed hairstylist. I've been in the beauty industry for over 25 years and I'm hoping that my videos can assist you with your beauty routine and hopefully make it fun for you. Makeup should be fun and not stressful and sometimes I think we can get a little picky with our makeup application or we maybe we don't even know where to begin. If you do like this video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell before you leave. And that makes sure that you don't miss out on any future videos. When the YouTube algorithm sees that people are interested in engaging in my videos, then it's gonna show more people and help me grow. All the products that I use in this video are gonna be listed in the description box below and I'll pin a comment in the comment section. There's never any pressure to use them, but if you are gonna buy these products anyway, it sure does help me if you use them and it doesn't cost you anything. For all my returning viewers, thank you so much for being here. I see you and it just makes me feel so good and I love getting to know all of you. Okay, enough talking, let's just get on with the video. The Maybelline website says it delivers a light to medium coverage for a skin-like natural finish. I would have to agree with that. It has a vitamin C infused vegan formula that brightens skin instantly and over time. It resists sweat, humidity, and fading, and is suitable for all skin types, including sensitive skin. It's also available in 18 shades, which is really great, especially for a drugstore product. I just wanna give you a good look at the formula through the bottle. You can see that it has a little bit of mica in it, and that's what's gonna create that radiance. It is a very liquidy formula, which I like. For those of you that don't like anything creamy feeling on your skin or you don't like that feeling of foundation, you may like this one because it feels more like a serum, like a true serum. I have been applying this with my fingers, but I think I will apply it with a brush today and yeah, a brush on one side and a sponge on the other. I kind of feel like this is gonna get soaked up into the sponge, we'll see. So I'm gonna use a BK Beauty brush. This is their foundation brush and it is a 101. I like this because it's nice and dense and it almost acts like a sponge when you're placing it on. Like, I would say that this is the closest thing to a sponge. Oh, I picked these up from Amazon. Look at, they come in different colors. They're so cool. Yeah, especially for fall, they come in these different colors and they hold my hair. Ooh, which one should I get today? Hmm, maybe I'll do this color. Yeah. Anything that I show you guys in my videos will always be posted in the description box if I can find a link for you. I didn't do my skincare, I completely forgot. So I do have niacinamide, the Polish Choice Niacinamide Serum, and I don't have it in with me, it's in the bathroom. I really like Freck Beauty Rich. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that or not, but it is the name of the primer. I like this because it actually is hydrating on my skin. It has a unique texture to it, I'm liking it a lot. Stands Out Sponge sent me a new sponge. They did tell me that it has to be wet the first few times. Like I think it should be wet about five times they said. And then after that you can use it dry and you don't have to wet it before you use it. So I'm gonna go wet that and I'll be right back. The Maybelline website also states that you can wear it underneath your makeup as well. You could actually use this as a primer. What I've found so far is that it doesn't cover my hyperpigmentation. I've had to go back and boost that up if I really wanna boost it. Sometimes I don't care though. In fact, a lot of the times I don't care. <laughs> It's not the most pleasant part of my face, but it is what it is and I don't stress about it. But if that really bothers you, then this isn't gonna cover it. Is this even gonna match me today? I got the color 220 because I self tan all the time. It is what I've been using. Look at that, like that's pretty. Look at the difference. My shoulders are darker and then as it goes down, my hand is so white. So what I did the other day was I mixed a few drops of this in with some face oil and it was really pretty on my hands. Could actually use moisturizer as well. Just a couple drops and then a couple of drops. Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing. And then I use the back of my hands <laughs> 
to spread it around so I don't get it on the rest of my hands and on my palms. You could use a brush, actually that would be a lot easier than what I'm doing. See, it just pulls it all together. So first I'm gonna use my brush and just tap it in. I don't have to tap actually, I can just wipe. Don't forget your ears. I'm going to build it up a little bit more. Make sure to get in the hairline. There's something about having color to the face that brings out the whites of the eyes and makes your teeth look whiter. Does anybody ever notice that? I think that's why we love having a little bit of tan, even though you know we're not supposed to be in the sun that much. I actually disagree with that. I think we need the sun, but I do agree that getting burnt isn't good. That's a whole other conversation though. So that is with the brush. That's actually really nice. Maybe I should just bring it down right here. So on this side, I'm gonna use a sponge, and I think what I'll do is put it on first with my finger. It kind of looks like a lot, but it's really not because it's so thin. And I'm taking it right underneath the eyes, guys, because it is so thin. Like, there's not gonna be any creasing with this. Oh, that was easy too. I don't know which one I like better. The application looks beautiful on each side, but I kind of feel like I like the sponge. Isn't that funny? It just seemed to go really fast. I learned how to do makeup with brushes. So going to sponges sometimes is just not my natural, you know, it's not my natural thing to go for a sponge, but that's actually really nice. If you're in between two shades, it is so pretty to just cheat your color up a little bit. For reference, I'm considered a neutral. When I buy foundations, I'm either a light neutral or a light to medium neutral. If you're similar to me, that's what you'd be going for as well. So this is the 220 and I ordered the 120 and that way I do have that lighter version and I can mix the two if I want. All right, so I'm gonna let that sit and I'm gonna go ahead with my concealer. Again, this is the Makeup Forever HD Skin Concealer. One of my favorite foundations is the HD Skin Foundation. I posted a video of that I think last fall maybe or last summer and it was so pretty and I always know when I like a foundation because I have it in several colors. I didn't pick up my normal color. Usually I don't go for a red but I did. I picked up an R. This one is, let me see, I want to get my glasses on. Oh hey guys, off topic for a second. Look at these funky glasses. So I was sent these glasses. They're readers and they're on Amazon and look at, I think they're really cool. I think this was one of my favorites because of the color. These are funky. I'll leave the link in the description box for you. Look how funky they are. And they have a blue or teal or green. What is that, green or blue? Depends on the light you look at. I got these. I think they're funky. I think if you have to wear glasses, like just go for it. There's a frame that's clear that I got as well and they're out in the kitchen. I've already been using those. Oh, I gotta read this. Okay, so I put these on for a reason. This color is 2.0 R, so meaning a red undertone. In this case, because it's so light, it would be a pink undertone. And I chose this color because I thought it would be more of a color corrector shade for me. The Makeup Forever website says, it is a featherlight buildable concealer that visibly smooths, brightens, and corrects under the eyes with an undetectable real skin finish and a 24 hour wear. Powered by hyaluronic acid, jojoba oil, and snow mushroom. What does snow mushroom do? Yeah, and that's it. So I'm just just gonna place it in here and right there. And I think that's it for now. I have so many of my favorite brushes that need to be washed. Ah, it's my least favorite job, honestly. I need an assistant, wouldn't that be great? You know kids in high school, they need their co-op. It was suggested to me that I bring on a co-op student. Oh, that's a great idea. I love teaching too, and that would keep me on track. I'm gonna talk to the high school. Oh, good, I actually have one. So this is the BK Beauty A506 brush. This is their concealer brush. I love it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to tap the product in. I'm not gonna swipe and wipe. I just wanna keep it exactly where I placed it. And then whatever's left on my brush, then I'm gonna pull it down because all of my creasing is right here. So I don't wanna place a lot of product there and I don't have a ton of discoloration in those areas. And then whatever's on my brush, I'm gonna take it underneath my lash line because I am pretty violet under there. 
I got cortisone shots the other day for my hips and I feel like my skin has, re it always reacts, but I feel like, I don't know, there's like, I've got quite a bit of darkness under there than I'm used to. Past few times I've gotten the cortisone shots, my skin has been so inflamed in the cheek area and I feel like, yeah, there it's a little bit puffy, which is then causing some darkness in here. I ordered Celtic salt the other day and it came in today. That'll be interesting. Are you guys seeing that all over TikTok or your social media of choice? I didn't realize the health benefits of Celtic salt. So it has 28 minerals in it, essential minerals in it, and specifically magnesium. So my husband and I, what I saw was that you're supposed to put just a few crystals on your tongue or underneath your tongue and then follow it by a drink of water. And I did that. Well, he, I don't know how much he put under his tongue. He put too much. It'll be interesting to see how our body responds to it. I'm hoping because I'm always feeling thirsty even if I'm drinking a ton of water. I have allergies so allergy medication will absolutely make you dehydrated. Okay the texture of this is so light that you don't feel like you have anything on. I am going to set all of this with powder. I am going to use powder blushes and bronzers because I don't want to lift anything up. I just had a panic. I thought for sure that I didn't record half of the stuff that I did but I got it. I got it. Ooh. That's the thing with these cameras. They just stop recording and they don't give you any noise that they did that. That's happened to me so many times where I filmed a whole video and I'm missing half of it and I can't do anything with it after that. Oh, by the way, this is the Ilia. I'm almost out of this actually. It's the Lip Wrap Revolving Balm. Revolving. Reviving Balm. It's so good. All right, let's take a look at this. Everything is looking good. I'm not going to bother contouring. I'm just going to use a bronzer. This is the Physician's Formula Bronzer. They have several colors, but this just says bronzer. I love the smell of it. If you don't like the smell of coconut or if you don't like your product smelling, you will not like this. To me, it smells like a vacation. I'm going to use a Sephora brush. This is a pro. Where are my glasses again? 59. It has a little bit of a point to it, which isn't a typical bronzing brush, but that's okay because it's gonna allow me to be a little bit more specific in this area and stop it from going all the way down. Start it up here around the hairline and I'm not gonna take it lower than this area here. Light dust. Try not to get caught up in what things are called. So contour, bronzer, I see that kind of all over the place. Like that's not a contour, that's a bronzer. And what it's actually doing is it's bringing parts of your face forward and pushing parts of your face back. How you do that is up to you. You add blush and it's actually bringing dimension and, and allowing that part of your face to be more of a focus than the other part of your face if that makes sense. So try not to get too caught up in the technicalities of everything unless, you know, it might be different if you were learning how to be a professional makeup artist, but I don't believe that that's the case probably. Maybe it is, I don't know. Just from applying that little amount of bronzer, you can see that that brought my face to life and it doesn't look flat. And that's the whole idea. We wanna just add some life, add some dimension, bronzer, contour, blush, it doesn't matter. There's many ways that you can do this. I always bronze up here or contour, but if you have a really small forehead, like a shorter forehead, I wouldn't do that if I were you. My forehead isn't large per se, but I just want to bring it a little bit down so that the focus and the light is in the center of my face. You could also bring some bronzer onto your decollete if you want. I wouldn't do this if you have a white shirt and it just kind of pulls it all together. If you've seen my videos before, you know I love Dior. So I picked up the Rosy Glow in, what is this called? Rosewood. Just pop it on. So when you're thinking about setting your skin with powder, keep in mind that we have actually set some of our face already with powder and that's with the bronzer and the blush. So would I have to go and powder my whole face at this point? No, because I've already powdered this area. I've powdered this area. If anything now, when I go in with my setting powder, it'll be in the areas that I haven't touched with powder. I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Blur Powder. If you have normal to dry skin and mature skin, 
This is so pretty. There's another one that I love, well, two others that I really love, and that would be the House Labs, it's beautiful, and Hourglass Veil Setting Powder, perfect for mature, normal to dry skin. If you have an oilier skin type, I think you would consider other formulations, but for somebody like me, these are the ones that I go to. I hope you can see that I'm shiny in that area, you see? And I don't think that's a good area to be shiny. I don't mind having the glow in here. I think that looks really pretty. But in here, that's where I want it. I've been talking for a while and I'm not seeing any movement with my concealer. I just went back to check and see if there's any creasing because you don't want to powder your creases in. You want to smooth everything out before you apply your powder. So I don't have any issues there. So I'm going to go right ahead and I'm going to place it right here. And then I'm going to take it up underneath my eye and I'm patting right in there. Better, a little bit on my nose. And then the next place is right in here. There, and that smoothed out my pores and smoothed out my wrinkles, honestly and right in the chin. That's where my makeup removes the fastest. But the rest of it, I feel like it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna powder my eyelids a little bit. If you have oily eyelids, start your makeup with some powder on your lids and then use an eyeshadow primer or a cream shadow stick that lasts. That's really gonna help. And also be careful about putting your moisturizer on your eyelids. Leave that for a nighttime thing. Don't put it on during the day. This video is all about the skin and the lips today, so I'm gonna fast forward my eye makeup and I'll be right back. Okay, now I wanna show you my new lip products. I watched Teresa Does Makeup video a while ago and she loves the Anastasia Beverly Hills Muted Rose. Muted, no, Muted Mauve. I bought that and I liked it, but I went to Sephora and I tried out a few of the other ones on my hand and I really like Rosewood. So I picked it up and I'll show you what it looks like, but I feel like this one is a better fit for my lips. Not a better fit. I think maybe I just like it for fall. And I love this pencil because it's a wood pencil and it's nice and long. That really makes me feel good about it. I want to be able to sharpen it to a nice point. And don't be afraid to cheat your lip line. Not as much here or in the center. And then I mush my lips together and it gives an automatic gradient effect so it goes from dark to light. And the lipstick I got from Anastasia Beverly Hills, this one is called Taupe Beige. It's in a satin finish, so it's not too drying. If you're looking for a lipstick that's gonna last all day, this wouldn't be it, but putting the lip liner underneath is gonna help it stay because it's a matte formulation. And the lipstick itself isn't so creamy that it's gonna just wear off. Feels like it's gonna stay for a while, unless I really, you know, if I'm drinking a lot or Speaking of drinking, I it's coffee time. So I'm done, I'm gonna go have a coffee, which means my lipstick's not gonna stay, and hopefully I'll have time to do my hair. It's Sunday when I'm filming today, so I kinda don't feel like doing my hair. Is that lazy? Let's put this down, see what it looks like. Yeah, it's okay like this. I don't think I really have to do it. I did it yesterday. So I'm gonna go about my day. I probably won't have time to do check-ins throughout the day, but I will definitely come back at the end of the night and do my final check-ins. So I will be back in a bit. Okay, I'm back guys. It's 10 o'clock at night. It is 75 degrees in this house. We didn't realize and all of a sudden my husband and I were like, Whew, it is so hot in here. We turned the ceiling fan on and now we have the air conditioning on. It's shocking. I'm in Canada and it was a beautiful day. We just didn't realize it was gonna get that hot inside. Being so hot, that means I put the foundation and the concealer to the test. If you look really closely, I don't see any creasing. 
I hope that you can see that. So I think it looks really good. I did wear my glasses for the last couple hours I was editing. So I am a little bit red right in here. I've been blowing my nose, so I am a little bit red right here as well. I have a little bit coming through on my chin. But overall, I think my skin looks really good. I realized when I was editing that I did two layers of the skin tint on this side and only one layer on this side, and I forgot. And I was wondering, I thought, geez, this, this side of my camera looks really dark. I thought it was my lighting. No, it's that I put too much foundation on this side. I think I was just trying to see how it would build, but I like this side better. You just need one coat and I think this looks fresher. What I should mention, if you don't like any shine, do not get this. It has mica in it. So you can definitely see the shine. You may not like this if you have oily skin or combination skin. Let's say your foundation is normally an Estee Lauder double wear because you have an oilier skin or a combination skin. You could use this underneath just to prime it and give it a little bit of a glow, or you could even mix it in with your formulation. That might be a good idea. But in general, people who have oily or combination skin don't generally like to have more shine on their face. So I would definitely say that this is a normal to normal to dry skin or dry skin formulation. Also, if you're dealing with a lot of texture, like I have texture in here, but it's not accentuating my wrinkles too much. If you have a lot, it may accentuate your fine lines. So really be careful with that. Good thing about it is it's not that expensive. So if you buy it and you don't like it, you're not out a lot of money and most places have a good return policy anyways. I like this enough that I bought another color. So that should tell you something. I think that's it guys. Obviously my lipstick didn't stay on, but we had dinner and I had a glass of wine, which was nice. Oh, before I forget, <laughs> I've been working on a website. I have www.julie-meekle.com. So many of you ask me questions over on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, here on YouTube, and I really can't give you the proper recommendation or answer until I have so many questions answered. I need to know what do you use for skincare? What have you used in the past? What kind of finish do you like? Um, what are your issues? What are you finding when you try your foundation and, and you feel you're having problems with it? What are those problems? I need to know the tools that you're using. I need to know what kind of look you're going for. I need to know honestly what your day-to-day -day lifestyle is. How much time do you have in the morning? How much knowledge you have to begin with? So all of those answers will help me better serve you. And with the one-on-one -on -one online course, I feel like I'm really gonna be able to assist you and help you with your daily makeup routine and hopefully help your confidence. And I hope to help you feel beautiful because you are beautiful. And I feel like if I get online with you face to face, I'll really be able to instill that in you and help you find that beauty in yourself. I am offering online hair lessons as well. Again, it's one of those things where I need to know the tools that you own. I need to know your hair type. I need to know the chemical history. If you've had highlights and color, what are your issues? All of the above. If you have any questions about that, please leave them in the comments or head over to my website and contact me through there. That would be wonderful. And I hope to meet you. So that's it. I'm going to go wash my makeup off. I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button before you leave and the notification bell. Share with all your friends and I will see you later. Bye.